Where are you from, Bob? Uh, Madison. And I agree with your last statement there, Governor, of the, we need immediate relief from this problem. And the problem, as I see it, is not so much a high gas prices, but it's a little sister that goes with it called home heating fuel. Now, what we need to do, or what you need to do, is find, uh, right now, for a gallon of gas in Madison, it's 374. For heating oil, it's 376, for a total of $7.50. What you need to do is give me a figure what you think would be immediate relief from where we could apply to Washington, D.C. For the, to me, this is a crisis in Maine, like a hurricane in Florida, like a tornado in the Midwest. The people in, in Madison or north, anybody north of Richmond can't afford the oil, the heating oil, the high cost of gasoline. They can't afford that. And buy their food buy the insurance for their house, buy the car insurance, buy the health insurance, pay the local taxes, pay the Somerset County taxes, pay the state tax and pay federal taxes, and help the economy at the same time. I absolutely agree with you. Amen. I'm with you 100%. And, and that's what we're trying to do within the confines of the restrictions put upon us by the federal government. The difficulty, the difficulty is there are two basic philosophies in the state of Maine. There's one that believes the state needs to be doing everything and we become a welfare state. And there's another one that believes that we should try to revive the American dream. I'm on that side. I believe. believe that we no longer can afford to tax the average Mainer anymore. And I'll tell you why. If you take the state of Maine and the state of New Hampshire, the only thing that really separates us <coughs> is a line on a map. But the average median income, the median income in the state of, of New Hampshire is $60,000 a year. In the state of Maine, it's 45000 And the reason for that is we as a state, they're a very prosperous state and have no income tax. We have always gone to the well every year to get more out of you, more out of you, more out of you. Now, I will tell you, there are three basic economic philosophies that I've come away with after being on this, the face of this earth. One is economic emotion. People vote with their hearts, not their brains. Economic mobility. When you've had enough, you get in the car and you move away. We see a lot of that in Maine. They're all in Florida, Nevada, Georgia, and so they'll come back in June. But they're here for less than six months in the day and we can't tax them. So we've got to come up with a new way to get to them. And third, it's the one I've been living in most of my life, is economic reality. You can't tax your way to success and you can't borrow yourself to prosperity. It's all of, there's no silver bullets. We have to get together, put public policy programs that attract, that attract people who have money in their pocket, who are willing to invest it in the state of Maine, and put Mainers to work. Now the company that owns Madison Paper, his corporate offices are in Helsinki, Finland. That's a success. Because the previous owner was on an exit mode. They're coming in and they're in an entry mode. That's what we need to do. I think we need to work very close to them and try to make sure they don't leave the state of Maine. Beyond that, I need to go out and get some more carbonite companies that went to Lewiston and created 150 jobs. That was a company that, it was already existing jobs, they just brought them from India back to the United States.
if the federal government, if the federal government would just sit back and, and take a look at what's happened in the world, we are now in a global economy. The United States of America is the second highest corporate tax in the world. And do we have a lot of these uh, big corporate robbers? Yes. And are they going to go where there's cheap labor? Yes. Are they going to go where there's cheap taxes? Yes. And voila, we've lost most of our industry to third world countries, China and India, who are now becoming economic powerhouses. So until we learn to lower our corporate tax rate, invite those people back here to create jobs here in America instead of in China, India, then we as a small state are going to have a hard time. And so what we need to do is when we have a Madison paper, we covet it and we make sure they don't leave us. And so that's what the role of the people up here are all determined to do exactly that. Thank you very much.